Boston University basketball today from the Case Center Gym, the roof in Boston. It's the Terriers against the Wildcats from SUNY Polytechnic Institute. For the Terriers, it's just about execution, and Max missed a baby. Oh, that's a nice ball fake there by Jesse O'Dell, and he converts. Villarino kicks it out to a wide open Walter White for three, and there it is. Worst field goal for the Terriers. Tyshawn Copper into the game for wow. SUNY Poly, and Gregory drills the three. Asle athletic Conference, and Gregory led the conference in both scoring and blocks a year ago, and Walter White drills another three, and on this one, he gets fouled. Vision three league, obviously, in Maine, New Hampshire, Vermont, and now upstate New York, as the Terriers get Walter White on the run out to tie the game at 13. Movement in terms of getting some speed. Petcash with the throwback to Walter White, and Walter steps back behind that new three-point line. Caleb Canty, nice pass inside. Max Mahoney seals it off, but an even better finish by Tyshawn Copper. We to the championship game, they won nine straight games. And what a great finish by Ethan Britton Watts, his first college points, no less, in December. It'll be a family affair for the pet caches. Yes, indeed. Pet cash with a three, right on cue. Well, foul trouble picked up those two personals in the first four minutes of the game. Go, oh, Javante McCoy to the rack. The Terriers are hitting those shots inside now. That certainly holds true also with Fletcher Tynan. Look out, Walter White with the right hand. Those three threes in the first half, he was looking to come around that screen to shoot again. How about the drive by Jack Hemphill? Well, if the lane opens up, he's gonna take it. Big time three by Caleb Canty. He almost lost it, but gets it inside. Copper hits from the foul line after the season they had a year ago. So when we say 705 start, we probably mean 707, 708. <laughs> That's usually what happens. <laughs> Terriers spread the floor, and Walter White gets free as Moyer hits the deck. Would be kind of taking over as that primary scorer. And certainly, I think Copper is a, one of those great pieces as White hits another three. Tying his career high that he set Tuesday night. Yeah. A little bit short, another rebound for Souk Matone, and a great fast break by the Terriers. Petcash pays it off. Dribble this one out, and the Terriers have their first win of the young season. I'm uh, very, very pleased that after that slow stretch, we did a pretty good job getting going. We, you know, we wanted it to be a little bit more aggressive. Um, you know, and we're telling, you know, Suk's such a big, long body in there. When he catches it in that sweet spot, we want him to look to score. So that was kind of emphasis with him. Um, and the other guys we were really trying to work on our offensive alignments and, and where guys were catching the ball. We want to put them in the best situation as possible to get them to score. I think that the focus has to be on the defensive end, though. I mean, you're, you're exactly correct with what you're saying, but I know coaches downstairs talking to them about we can't allow another team to shoot 54, 55%, or actually 55% for the, uh, say, the second half. 